What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Cal here from Buffalo Sports Center. Today we're going to be talking about the Buffalo Sabres. And the thing about the Buffalo Sabres is things never change. This team continuously disappoints game in and game out, year after year after year. Let's talk about Don Granado here. Because Don Granado, he's been given a chance to take this team to the next level. And let's just say last year, he took a struggling team full of young players and turned them into a very successful group of growing young players. And we all thought Don Granado could have been coach of the year last year, right? I mean, he took a team that nobody thought was going to come close to the playoffs, other than Sabres fans who thought maybe we'd get around the wild card, and got them one point out of the wild card conversation. They were one win away from making the playoffs and ending the drought last year. And that you have to congratulate Don Granado for. He did a lot on that team. He developed a lot of guys, and that is what he is good at, right? He came from the developmental system, Team USA, and he's used to doing that. He's used to getting those young players to that next level, that NHL-ready level. And that's what we saw last year. And not only that, we saw the emergence of a ton of players. I mean, Tage Thompson had a massive breakout year. Guys like Casey Middlestat. Dylan Cousins, Jack Quinn, J.J. Paterka, the list goes on and on and on about players that succeeded under Don Granado. But all of a sudden, what has changed? Something has changed. Because this year, it looks like he has lost the room. This team is not the same as last year. The energy levels are way down. Again, one night with the Sabres, they could be hustling the whole game, put up five goals on the Rangers, you know, one of the best teams in the league, and look like, you know, leaders in the NHL. The next night, they could come out against a horrible team like the Anaheim Ducks, have no energy, and get outplayed for 40, 50 minutes of the game and lose by three goals. Again, this team does this every other night. You don't know what Sabres team you're getting. And I get it. Young players are inconsistent, right? You don't get, you don't get consistency from young players. Usually you get consistency from veteran teams that are playoff caliber teams and all that. But there is no reason the Sabres team should be taking this much of a step back. I think we all agreed that this Sabres team was not going to put up the same amount of goals as last season. Especially when GM Kevin Adams refused to get any help for the forward groups and made the defensive core honestly worse by the additions of Connor Clifton and Eric Johnson in the offseason. I mean, he could not have you know done more of a disservice to this team in the offseason. Absolutely horrible job by Kevin Adams. But again, overall, Kevin Adams has been a great GM. The only thing I can complain about is this past offseason, and he really, really set this ship to sink. It, it, I mean, it was just a horrible job, horrible offseason. We were definitely pretty mad about, you know, the lackluster signings. But it is what it is, right? You still got the same group of players that were one point out of the playoffs, and they should be, you know, aging, they should be maturing, and they should be getting better. Now, again, we didn't expect Tage Thompson to have the same numbers, but we expected some of the lower tier guys to step it up a little bit. Nothing's happened. The defense is in complete disarray. The offense is, you know, hit or miss each and every game. Something's different. And I don't know what Don Granado has changed. Again, we can all guess that he kind of shifted more towards a defensive team. And that is not what this team is built for at all. The defense stinks on this team. And it's not by, because of the players. I mean, look at the players on defense you have. Rasmus Dahlin, a great defender we've seen, and he, you know, just is immaculate in the offensive zone as well. Owen Power, who has the skill set of a top overall pick. He was a number one overall pick, and he has that skill set. You want to know the reason why these guys are struggling? It's pressure, and it's the system. The system they are currently running, they are not executing. And again, Don Granado is not one of those rough and rowdy coaches that gets in their face. So I don't think they're very nervous about facing him or, you know, messing up the system. But you could tell they're on a leash. Owen Power, you could tell every time he gets the puck, he hugs it against the boards instead of skating freely. He is a top overall pick in the NHL. I've seen what he could do. I've seen his college hi highlights. I've seen last season in overtime what Owen Power can do in open space. It is incredible. He is a top guy on this team. But... Under this system, he just is nothing. He, he's infuriating to watch. He's turnover. He's nervous. He's shaking. It, he doesn't even belong out there. And it's it, you know it's a, it's really a shame to see that. Then you move on to the next pairing. You see Yoki Haru, who had a good start to the year, but again they just cannot get the same production out of him that we once saw you know last season. And again last season he didn't have that all that great of a year either. Connor Clifton, a guy they brought in. Complete disappointment. Eric Johnson, the same thing. Ryan Johnson's been great so far this year, but again, he's very young, and he hasn't really you know, had the effect of the, the Don Granado system that these other guys have had. Then we go to the offense, and the offense just hasn't been clicking. I mean, Tage Thompson, regression. Dylan Cousins, regression. 
Casey Middlestat and Jeff Skinner are the only two forwards that are on pretty much the same point pace. And the only reason that Jeff Skinner isn't is because he had that injury. He's been out of the lineup a little bit. Middlestat's fallen off as of lately, but he is on a contract year as well, so that could be a motivating factor. Other than that, nobody else is matching last season. Again, you bring back Zemgis Gergensens and Kyle Poso for leadership. I get it, I guess. But to bring back both of them with zero offensive talent, I, I shouldn't say zero offensive talent, but you know what I mean. They don't bring, you know, goals and they don't bring defense either. They're kind of just out there, you know, helping out the young kids and, you know, trying their best, which, again, I'm not going to discredit them from going out there and putting in 110% because they oftentimes they're the only two giving all they got. But they're just not not supposed to be playing at, at this level on a team that's full of young kids that is trying to make the playoffs that should be in a playoff spot right now. But the Sabres right now are seven points out. Some nights they're nine points out. Some nights they sneak back to five points out, but they just are so inconsistent. Again, they can't win multiple games. They go back to back, what, twice so far this year? Maybe three times? They can't win three in a row. And if you're going to be a playoff team, you have to have some sort of consistency. This team has had none of that. So again, we look at the coaching core. Don Granado, complete failure this year. I don't know what he's doing, but he has yet to change anything. We go to the defense. Matt Ellis, coaching the defense horrible. I don't know what system he's running, but it, it is just horrible. And again, he hasn't changed anything. Matt Ellis, also in charge of the power play. The Sabres power play has been one of the worst in the league. And again, they do the same thing every power play. Now, I will say at the time of this recording, the last two games they played, the power play looked a little better. But it is the same thing every single time. I could watch one Sabres power play and game plan against it and never allow a goal. They, they, they cycle it around the outside super slow, get one shot on. Every time you clear the zone, they do it. That stupid drop pass, which, you know, any team could just pick off and have an easy breakaway. And we see it every single game. These Sabres power plays lead to odd man rushes the other way. I mean, the Sabres power play gives up more chances for the shorthanded team than themselves. And it's just in a complete embarrassment. You look at Mike Bells it, it, for, for, you know, goaltending. Devin Levi has had a rough year so far. It doesn't look like he's learned anything in the NHL and Personally, I think he should be it with the Amherst, but the only issue is your your goalie that you would bring up is Eric Comrie, and he's looked so bad too that you're not going to get any wins. Now, the one bright side of the goaltending core has been UPL. Uka Pekalukkanen has looked great so far this season. Started off kind of shaky, but as of late, he's really turned it on. So that is a huge upside for the Sabres because if he didn't turn it on, they were definitely going to have to go out and get a goalie for next season with Devin Levi not looking so great. But Again, all these goalies are super young, too. I'm not dissing Devin Levi. I think he's going to be a great goalie. They take a while to develop, though. So Uka Pekalukkanen showing up is huge. And then we, we keep going down the, the coaching list. You get to the assistants and all that. It just doesn't look like there's a lot of experience on this coaching staff. And last season, I thought that was a good thing, right? I thought the coaches could come up with the players. And maybe both people have reached their ceiling. Maybe Don Granato has reached his ceiling with this team. Maybe he is a, a developmental coach at best. And maybe that's why he hasn't had an NHL job other than the Buffalo Sabres, right? It seems the Sabres are always hiring these guys who, you know, just are out of nowhere, you know, in-house or, you know, just crazy signings like Ralph Kruger. And it just doesn't work. I mean, how many times do you have to change the coach to find the right guy? So that's why I'm hesitant to fire Don Granado. Again, a very likable guy. Last season, he got to the, the Sabres to a point they hadn't been since like 2013. But at the same point, I mean, if he's not going to take that next step and he's not going to be able to elevate those players that he got to just about there to there to the playoffs, if you can't do that, you cannot be the coach. And again, it's the NHL. Coaches come and go like that. So there's a ton of good coaching candidates out there. But let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Should the Sabres fire Don Granado? Is Don Granado the problem? Or is it strictly just every single player on the roster having a down year? Which again, I find hard to believe but it could be possible, right? I mean, the Sabres overachieved in almost every category last season besides goaltending and defense. And this year, it's just been all categories down besides Uka Pekalukkanen stepping up and, you know, the the penalty kill for the first 10 games of the season. Other than that, it's been horrible. And Sabres fans, I get it. We have, we have short patience with people because we haven't been in the playoffs and, you know, who knows how long it's been forever and last season, we thought maybe it was going to be the year towards the end. We missed out on one point. Say, so okay, it's going to be this year. No. Unless they go on a huge win streak, it's it's not even going to be close. It's, it's a completely miserable year, full of disappointment. And I'm getting sick of seeing it. And eventually, you're going to have to change something. 
And I don't know if that's going to be, you know, maybe a piece of your core gets traded, which I don't want to see happen. I mean, this team is so close together. They're so closely knitted. Or maybe it's the coach. I mean, you got to change something, right? It's the NHL. It's not, you know, the NFL where maybe we'll keep it going. The NHL, you you fire coaches here and there. And Don Granato is already a top six or top seven most tenured coach in the league right now, which I find super hard to believe. I mean, he's, he just got here a couple years ago. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe if you want to. And yeah, let me know. Should Don Granato be the coach of the Sabres next season? Should he even be the coach of the Sabres on the last game of this season? Or should the Sabres keep him and um, you know maybe maybe give him a second chance just because he, he really took our core to the next level last season? Let me know in the comments. Have a good day.